All right, welcome back to episode 11, I think. Pretty sure. Um, in this video, we're going to be continuing um, the, not the attack, the, boop, 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 the capture. We're going to make sure that works. And then we're also going to work on the switch. Okay, let's go to the battle because we actually already connected the capture. And if you haven't, make sure that you've connected, connected the capture button signal. Okay, now in my reference, let me pull this up. Here we go. Capture. All right. The first thing we want to do is we don't have to, but to make this, you know, entertaining, um, we're going to make sure that the HP is lower than a certain value. Now, what we could also do alternatively is we can let's do this. So we can say if the health, which is current health, is minus equal the um, monster UI. Because remember, here we can say the monster UI dot max health divided by two. So this will essentially say if the health is lower than 50%, then we can capture it. Now you can do divided by three, divided by 1.5, whatever you'd like. But I'm going to do two, that's 50%, that works fine. Okay, now what we'll do, this is easy. We just say capture. We get the enemy and we say capture. That's pretty simple. We also add some XP to our Dokimons. And then what we can do at this point is we want to save or add our Dokimon. Now there's no, uh, there's a lot of good ways to do this technically, but I'm gonna do the inefficient way and say this. If the Pinkmon is the enemy name, then we're gonna add Pinkmon, okay? Um, match doesn't work because you can't check for a string in something with match, so you have to do it manually. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this over. So now we have purple and green inside the name. So we're just going to check if green is in the name, that's probably the green mon. If purple is in the name, then it's probably the purple mon. And again, pink mon is probably the pink mon, right? Now what we'll do is we'll say, you, uh, we don't have it, do we? Uh, we have it, but we haven't made it. Uh, here, that's probably where I'll add it later. Um, and eventually we're going to add a save function uh, and we're going to save right here. But uh, let's actually, I'm going to put this here and then I'll comment it out for now. Okay. Yeah, and that's it. So let's uh, play the battle. Let's go here. We can see this guy. We actually want to hide that. So let's go to the pink mon and hide this by default. Or we can put it in the function. So we can say panel dot hide on the ready. Okay, let's go to the battle. Let's play one more time. There we go. There's no more ball. There's ours. Uh, no, not switch. Sorry. Capture. Capture, please work. Uh, things are happening. Okay. Capture. Work. What's going on? Okay. Let's check the signal. Oh, I'm so silly. The HP is not low enough. All right. Let's <laughs> make sure we damage it. At least we know that's not that's working now. All right, and there we go. There we, we capture the guy. And uh, the flea is not going to work because we are in the enemy. Hold on. Capture, get parent, dot get parent. And yeah, free plat, free, bleh, flea plast, it, I can't talk. It's in here. It's in the UI. That's why. So in the enemy, what we can do is we can just add this guy in. Add the pink mon. Let's go to the script. And then what we can do from here is say monster UI. So it's get parent dot get parent monster UI. Okay, that should work. Because the on flea. Um oh maybe it's in here actually. Or did we not do the flea yet? Thought we did. Ah, it's in here in the UI. Sorry about that. It's in the UI. So let's actually remove that monster part. Yeah. That makes more sense. Okay, let's try one more time. Uh, let's still delete this pink mon first. Let's play. Fight, blast. We hit it. It's less than 10 HP now, or half. We capture, and it deletes. Okay, now obviously that's not gonna work because uh, our UI is not there because uh, we haven't, we didn't play the game properly. Um, but we'll test that later. Okay, let's get back in, let's close our pink mon, and what's, let's, continue in the switch so the switch we want to work on now so let's connect that let me see where i connect it to so i kind of 
keep my references consistent. Okay, and I keep it in the UI, perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna give you a hint, but I want you to try doing this on your own. Pause the video right after I give you a hint and what you're gonna do. Um, but I want you to connect it to the UI script with extra arguments, okay? Now pause the video, do it, and unpause. Now I'm gonna do it. Okay, the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna uh, select the UI, remove the one, and we're gonna add this argument. And make sure advanced is clicked and connect it. All right, there we go. And here it is. Whoops, I don't wanna delete that. There we go. And now we do that for all of them. So we go pressed, we add, and make sure this one's two because that's Dokimon three. We go down to UI, we copy paste the same function name and connect, and there we go. Dokimon, same thing, but this one's one. And we go to UI, change the name, make sure it's one again, connect, and that's it. All right, now that we have that, let's work on the, whatchamacallit. All right, um, let's go to the Dokimon pressed. And first of all, we have to say get parent.selected is equal to argument. Whoops. Because here we now want to switch the actual Dokimon by saying, okay, we'll select, we have to say this, tell the battle which is this new selected Dokimon. Now, what we can do is we can say for loop in our child count player. And because remember, when we played, we already added all the. Let me close all their tabs. In the battle, we already added all the Dokimons that we have. Um, so in, uh, we'll have to add this manually actually. So here, let's add, let's add a purple mon, purple mon. In our UI, we now have two. So if we load the game, we'll now have two. And now here, what we can see is, what we're gonna do is we're gonna play the spawn. My gosh. We're going to play the spawn backwards because the spawn is going to despawn. Basically, this is going to despawn our um, player, our player Dokimon. It's going to do it for all of them because it doesn't really matter. Um, we want them all to despawn um, either way. We can just get the first one and despawn it, but that might not work because what if I have um, the second one, uh, the second uh, Dokimon? alive right then i want to make sure that all of them despawn if that makes sense okay now we want to use our little trick of getting the path so we're gonna get access to that path by saying path to our player right which is like ugh, what is going on why is my godot so buggy all of a sudden all right player right so that's the path and then plus the string of the selected Dokimon with the extra argument. We could also do selected, but extra argument's easier because this is just longer. Uh, and then the name, right? So that's the path of our Dokimon now. Now what we can do is say, okay, well, let's get the node of our path, the new Dokimon that we just selected, and say, let's play the spawn. So we're going to spawn in our new Dokimon. And then we're going to get that Dokimon and show him because we just hid all the other ones. Or the other ones should be hidden. Okay, and we're gonna actually hide them soon in a second. But now we can say await dot get node path, and we're gonna wait for the animation to finish, the spawn animation to finish before moving on. Now we can hide the other Dokimons. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll make sure that we show that Dokimon again. I don't think we need this one. Uh, we can test it. Let's comment that out and double check, and then. Um, we're just going to end the player's turn by calling the monster's turn, okay? Because I want to use up a turn when I switch a Dokemon. It's kind of not fair if I can switch infinitely. All right. Now, we want the switch update um, function. So let's create that as well. Switch update uh, function. Now, what is this going to do? We're going to actually call it over here. This, oops. It's going to basically allow us to switch our Dokimons in the selected um, path. So let's go over to the it's for loop. Let's make a for loop first. We're going to get a new path to the Dokimons by doing this. And we'll say Dokimon here. Here we go. Uh, nope. Ah, Dokimon. Here we go. 
remove that dollar sign, remove the one, and we're going to hide all those Dokimon uh, thingies, the menus, okay? And then what we're going to do is load in the new ones. So what are we doing here? We're basically hiding all these Dokimons, uh buttons, and then we're also going to essentially update the new Dokimons because if you remember, uh, I don't think we've done this yet, um, but this will we'll have it as a ready function. So this will uh, essentially update all the Dokimon buttons to the names of our things in the dictionary. So the reason we hide them is what if we only have two Dokimons? Well, the third Dokimon button, we want to hide it. So we hide it by doing this, by hiding all of them in the beginning. And we'll show them as we add them in. So now we want to do the same thing. Let's actually, I'm just going to copy this one over instead of my reference because it's different now. We're going to get the path. And now we're going to get the text of that button and set it to the name of that Dokimon from in our I for loop. And then we're going to show it. Sorry, my bad. We also want to say, we want to check to see if I is not equal to parent.selected because we don't want to load in um, the current selected Dokimon, right? Because if we have Pinkmon selected, we don't want to show Pinkmon. We don't want to switch to Pinkmon. We already have Pinkmon selected, right? So we say, load everything that does not have our player selected, okay? Now we can have this here, right? Because we want to sw update our switch, but we also want this in our ready function, which we don't have, so we'll make it right now. Let's make sure we do this properly. There we go. And now let's test this. Here we go. Let's go to switch. Here we go. Here's purple mon. Let's click it. And, ooh, we got a bunch of bugs. Let's see what's going on. Invalid call. Ooh, monster turn. Okay, so we're going to have to debug this. So let's go to our UI and see what happened. All right. So the spawn didn't seem to go off. Oh, I think we have to show it. That's why. That is why. Hold on. Let's play it one more time. Switch. Purple Mon. That's not our Purple Mon, but we'll do that in a second. Okay, the Purple Mon went off, but let's go to our Purple Mon here. Okay, that's why. The, I don't know. Pink Mon. Yeah, here we go. We want to switch the name to Purple Mon. Probably do that in Green Mon too. So go over here. Green Mon. We probably want to actually add the spawn thing into this guy too. So we'll probably, yeah, you know what? Sorry, guys. We're going to have to take our green mon or purple mon, delete those, and let's duplicate the pink mon one more time. Purple, oh, we'll say purple mon. Let's duplicate that one more time and say green mon because I don't want to redo the animation and everything. Now, purple mon, let's go over here and select the proper sprite. So the frame should be, um, oops, no, uh, frame, which one is this? This is, oh, this is our pink mon. This is the one that we don't want to change. Okay, pink mon, let's go to our purple mon and take a look at our sprite. Which one do we want? We want this guy. Here we go. Save this, close it, go to green mon, close this or hide it and select our green mon, which is this radish looking thing. All right, let's test one more guys. One more time, guys. Let's switch purple mon, purple mon spawns in. Perfect. Oh my gosh, I got attacked. And there we go. Um, there was a little bug. It doesn't seem like my uh, HP got updated, but we'll take a look at that later. So let's try fighting and see if that works. Cool, it's working. Um, yeah, the HP is not updating. Um, I think it has to do I don't know what's going on, um, but I'll fi figure out, figure it out and let you know soon, probably in the next video, but I'm going to end the video for now and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.